Hey guys, it's BT or Palmy here, and so, yes, I have finally got a flush water connected to my case, and as you can see, it's a little bit crooked, not because of the setup, because I don't have the right seals in there, I only have a rubber band, so it leaks a tiny bit, but this is the best I can get it for now, and I'm thinking about putting my Briggs Conserver, because the spud actually fits, surprisingly, so yeah, and I also got the American Standard Yorkville seat on there, and it actually looks pretty neat, so yeah, um, let's give it a flush, it's not really long or powerful, because this is a, a 1.0, or basically 0 0.52 uh, American Standard Urinal Flush Hummer, so it won't be the best. And also, I'm probably going to be getting like a 10 or 15 gallon tank, and this these pipes can only hold up to 100 PSI, and this is about maybe 50 or 60. So I, if I get too much pressure, it'll explode the pipe, so I might be getting, you know, official toilet set up. So yeah, I'm pretty happy. So yeah, here's the flush. Yeah, so that was a weak flush, and that's like the longest I can get the flush. I can make it a little bit more powerful. Let me just turn it up a little bit right here, but uh, it can get a little bit more powerful, but then the flush doesn't last as long, obviously, because, um, you know, it's putting in a lot of water. So it is way more powerful, but I can't get it. Hold on. I'm trying to get it to adjust the pressure. There we go. So here's a little bit more powerful flush let me just lift up the seat and obviously the water line is low obviously because of the flushometer but yeah the tank is full and here's another flush and like I said it can't get any more powerful I mean I could try turning it up a little bit more but I honestly think it'll shut off a little bit faster so yeah this is a quarter turn yeah, as you can see, it is a little bit crooked. I, st I do have the piece that covers up this part. I just didn't put it on because I don't really need to. Well, it just makes it look better, but... Yeah, so let me just let the tank fill really quick. And if you guys uh, want me to do some of my other toilets, if it fits, like... I know the Briggs Conserver fits, the brandless front flusher fits, so... I don't... I haven't tested all of them. It doesn't fit the Yorkville because of the way it's designed. Yeah, sorry if it's a little bit shaky. It is a little bit cold out here, but it's getting warmer, so yeah. Here is another flush. See, that one was a little bit better. Uh, I'll try doing another flush, but a little bit more powerful. So I don't know how exactly this is going to go. I'm sorry, every time I turn up the pressure, it's like an awkward angle. It's just, can't find a flathead screwdriver, so I'm using this thing and it barely fits. So it'll focus. Won't really focus, but yeah, uh, this will be the last flush. and. I might install this in my toilet shed, like get a wall carrier, because there's a couple cheap ones on eBay for like a hundred bucks, so I might get that, and then I can, you know, build this into the wall, so it'll be more sturdy, because, so it won't, you know, be as shaky, and it does it only, it doesn't really lift up, so that's good, I thought it was gonna lift up, because it's not sturdy, but surprisingly it doesn't, so yeah, here's, like, the best I can get it. So yeah, that's, a, I can get it more powerful, but it won't flush all the way. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, leave all of your comments down below, and see you guys in my next video. Bye.